This video compares Golden Doodle and Aussie Doodle dog breeds. When looking at some of the most intelligent breeds in the world, some of the most commonly thought of breeds are Poodles, Australian Shepherds, and Golden Retrievers. While these breeds on their own are incredibly smart, the hybrids combine the best features of their parents. Today we will specifically compare the Golden Doodle and the Aussie Doodle. If you have considered getting either breed, we hope that by the end of this video you will have a better informed decision formed. The Golden Doodle and Aussie Doodle have very similar temperaments. Both come from working dog lineages that are very active, highly intelligent, and loving to their owners. These dogs are some of the most loyal dogs a family can ask for. They love to play and get as much physical exercise as possible. But, they are also very loving and intuitive to the emotions and needs of their family members. Both breeds make great dogs for owners with children or who hope to have children soon. These doodles are easy to train in, will love making you happy with them. They thrive off connection and affection from their owners. If you have a lifestyle where you will be gone for long periods or travel a lot for work, these doodles aren't the best choice for you. They need constant attention and do not fare well being outdoor only dogs. One of the main differences between the two is that Aussie Doodles tend to have a more intense personality than Golden Doodles. They pay very close attention to details and love a good game of catch. This trait comes from the herding characteristics of the Australian Shepherd. Because of this intense personality, you may find that your Aussie Doodle requires more attention and playtime than your average Doodle. Golden Doodles and Aussie Doodles train very quickly. Since they are eager to please, they catch on to tricks and commands quickly. When you start training at a young age, your dog will grow to be a very well-mannered adult who is laid back and cuddles more often than not. The Aussie Doodle is known for its attention to detail and ability to focus for extended amounts of time. This ability to focus makes them great candidates for agility training. Both the Golden Doodle and the Aussie Doodle are energetic dogs that require a lot of exercise, play, and mental stimulation. It is recommended to give these doodles an hour-long walk twice daily and one-on-one -on -one playtime in addition to this. This playtime can help them burn energy for easy training and to keep them in shape to prolong a healthy life. If your dog does not have adequate exercise, they will start to develop destructive behaviors such as digging, chewing, or excessive marking. We would all love to be able to stay home with our pups 24-7, but most of us have to work. And Golden Doodles and Aussie Doodles can do well in these lifestyles as long as they are set up for success. These dogs are highly intelligent and need their minds stimulated when alone to prevent boredom. Puzzle toys are a great way to entertain your dog while you are away. Just give them a lot of love and attention when you come home. Doodle breeds are bred for their hypoallergenic nature. These dogs are considered to be hypoallergenic because they do not shed. This does not mean that people who are allergic to dogs won't be allergic to doodles. People who have dog allergies are allergic to dander and saliva that all dogs have. Grooming the Golden Doodle and the Aussie Doodle is essentially the same. They both have a coat that can come in varying degrees of curly to wavy and sometimes straight. Straight coats are considered an improper coat in most cases, meaning that the breeding pair had a gene that gave coat types that are not specifically bred for. Straight coat types do shed, and are not considered hypoallergenic. For curly and wavy coat types, you will need regular brushing daily or every other day depending on coat length. Brushing is an essential part of grooming any doodle. Since these doodles shed little to none at all, hair can become trapped in tangles and mats. Brushing will reduce the amount of shedding to virtually none at all and prevent mats from forming close to the skin. The longer the coat is, the more you will need to brush your doodle. Taking your dog to the groomer is another expense that can become costly, and is almost unavoidable. Professional groomers will be able to cut your dog's hair, trim sanitary areas, and in between the paw pads. Groomers will also give your dog a bath, clean ears, and trim the nails. But, it is best to leave the hair cuts to the professionals as it is easy to cut your dog or give them razor burns if you do not know what you are doing. Your dog should be taken to the groomer every 8 to 12 weeks for a haircut, or sooner if their hair grows faster. Golden Doodles have a lifespan of about 10 to 15 years depending on if you get a miniature, small standard, or a large standard sized dog. The smaller the dog, the longer your dog will live. Miniature Golden Doodles weigh about 15 to 35 pounds and are 13 to 20 inches tall. A small standard can weigh anywhere from 40 to 50 pounds and stand 17 to 20 inches tall. And, a large standard Golden Doodle will be 20 to 24 inches tall at the shoulder and weigh 50 to 90 pounds. Aussie Doodles have an average lifespan of 10 to 13 years. Since Aussie Doodles are a new doodle that has become highly popular, it is harder to determine the size range of them because there are no breed standards yet. 
Most breeders will tell you that they breed toy miniature or standard Aussie doodles, but this is subjective to what the breeder determines the size is. In general, Aussie doodles can range from 10 to 15 inches tall and weigh anywhere between 25 to 70 pounds. If you are ever curious as to how big your dog will be, ask your breeder to see the parents. You can get a rough estimate of how big your puppy will get by averaging the size of the parents. Your puppy will most likely not be any bigger than the largest parent and no smaller than the smallest parent. Golden doodles that are larger can be prone to hip and elbow dysplasia and arthritis. They also commonly have eye disease and skin allergies. Though there is no way of preventing this, picking a reputable breeder who is trying to better the breed is a start. Once home, a balanced lifestyle of high-quality food and exercise can reduce the chances of these problems from arising. Aussie doodles also suffer from skin allergies, eye diseases, cataracts, and hip dysplasia. You cannot prevent these traits, but smart breeding can help eliminate the commonality of these diseases in future breeds. Speak with your breeder about parental history and the likelihood of your puppy developing these problems later in life. Taking your dog to the vet for regular checkups can also prevent these diseases from overcoming your dog's life. Golden Doodles with high pedigree can cost almost $2,500, but the average price across the USA is anywhere between $500 to $1,500. With more expensive puppies, you are usually getting a higher standard of breeding. These dogs typically come with genetic testing, parental history, and quality breeding between good parents. Typically with cheaper dogs, you cannot be sure of any of these things, and the probability that you are purchasing from a backyard breeder or puppy mill is higher. Aussie Doodles can cost $700 to $1,500 depending on where you are from. Aussie Doodles can be harder to find in some areas of the country so the prices can be higher. Always ask to view the breeding facilities and the breeding parents before purchasing from a breeder. A reputable breeder will have no problem answering all questions and letting you see the site when asked. If purchasing a puppy from a breeder is not within your price point, maybe adoption is. These dogs can be just as healthy and are just as loving. You might have to wait a little longer to get the breed that you want, but the payoff is worth it. In conclusion, as you can see, there are a lot of similarities between the Golden Doodle and the Aussie Doodle. It can make it hard to choose the perfect match for your lifestyle. We hope that we have provided enough information to help you make that decision. If you like the video and information is helpful, do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more informative content.